Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your MacBook Pro as a Wi-Fi adapter. I mean, some people don't want to go out and spend $100 on a Wi-Fi adapter for your Xbox 360. Like, I went out and bought one and it broke. So, now I'm using my MacBook Pro as a Wi-Fi adapter. This will only work on Macs and, uh, for this way, it only works on Macs. And yeah, so now... The first step is you want to go into system preferences. Then you want to go into your sharing folder. Then you want to go down to internet sharing. And then make sure this says share connection from airport to and Ethernet. Then you're going to want to click this box and then click start. And then now that's about it for the MacBook Pro. And now it's time to go to the Xbox. Okay, so now we're going to want to get the Ethernet cable that came with your Xbox and plug it in the back of your Xbox, just like that. Then take the other end and plug it in to your MacBook Pro into the Ethernet port, just like that. Then that's it. Okay, for the final step of this, you're going to want to go to your Xbox, you're going to want to go all the way over to settings, then you're going to want to go to system. Once you're in system, you're going to want to go down to network settings. Go to wire network, go to configure network, go to IP settings, go to manual, go to IP address, and then you're going to want to type in 192.168.2.2. You're going to click done, go to subnet mask. You want to type in 255.255.255.0. You're going to want to go to Gateway. And then you're going to want to type in 192.168.2.1. <clears throat> then you're going to click Done. You're going to go to DNS settings. You're going to go to Manual, Primary DNS Server. Then you're going to type in 68.105.28.11. Secondary DNS server. Then you're going to type in 68.105.28.11 and click done. Then go all the way down to done. Click B. Go to configure. No, go down to connect. Test, test Xbox Live connection. Then click A. Click yes. <clears throat> and then now it's going to test it. See if you did it right. If it comes up with an error of some sort then you might want to go back through make sure you typed in all the numbers right and put the dots in the right spot but all other than that this that's it for this and please thumbs up the video and subscribe and if you have any questions you could email me or send me I mean leave a comment down below and that's about it and so now once it's done with that it's going to go bring up this message. That is perfectly normal. You're just going to click cancel. Click B. Then you're going to want to go and sign into your Xbox Live account. And then I'll go down to my account. Sign in. And it should sign in. So now sign in. It's all working and everything. And that's it. Thanks for watching.